International Labour Organization and the government of Sierra Leone have held, have held a session to improve access to microfinance for small and medium enterprises in Sierra Leone. The training aims at supporting the government to achieve its vision for private sector development. But the training focused on how to empower small and medium enterprises. In the studio is Judith Van Dorn, specialist in the environment for sustainable enterprises. Welcome to the program, uh, Judith. Thank you. So the government of Sierra Leone has invited the ILO to assist with improving access to financial services, but also access to business development services. Uh, there's a tremendous need among the enterprises. There are opportunities that are not seized. Mm -hmm. um, there are financial institutions available in the country, uh, yet they need to better tailor their services to the needs of the entrepreneurs. Um, and the entrepreneurs need to be prepared to receive the finance and use it in a way that they are able to pay back and also grow their business. So uh, issues that have been mentioned is interest rate, but also um, tying the, let's say, the loan to the cycle of the business. If you are in agriculture, it needs time for you to produce and be able to sell so that you can repay your loan. And you cannot repay within two weeks. There's various issues because um, competition will increase and then the interest rate will go down. Um, to understand your clients better, you'll have less um, non-performing loans. So uh, at the same time, you also see that people go in the informal sector and they uh, get loans from money lenders where they pay exorbitant uh, rates. So it's not only about the costs of the interest, but it's also about uh, tailoring and, and being more professional. So that um, we are um, advising them to strengthen the service providers uh, and also to, through the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency, to create a facilitating role because that one in turn can support the um, service providers to better reach out and, and meet the needs of the enterprises. Uh, yes, that's an issue. The land issue has come up as an important uh, aspect. So what we're doing is gathering these issues and faci faci facilitating dialogue. So we're also looking at the enabling environment. And this is where collateral has come up. And we are helping the government to do a survey and then engage in dialogue to address some of these constraints. Because it's not only about providing better services, but also creating framework conditions for the uh, enterprise sector. Um, like I said, there's many opportunities, but also we need to keep in mind that 70% of the uh, enterprises are informal, 70% of the population are youth, and 50% are women. So we need to make sure that they can seize opportunities and that they get access to markets. There are international companies that could source locally, but they also struggle to get a consistent supply of quality and they need access to information. So um, these are opportunities that could be seized. Uh, and I also heard during the events that we've organized, there's a lot of copycatting. So instead of doing the same things your neighbor is doing, maybe look at other opportunities and, and get support from strong institutions that can then lead the way to create these linkages. We're not at that stage yet. The event is going on this week. At the end of this week, uh, the participants are developing an action plan, which we will convey to government. And this will then uh, lead. This will lead the way on the way forward. Yes, for sure, we will reach out to donors, international organisations, based on the knowledge that we have gathered, uh, and also on the dialogue with government. Okay, thank you. Continue to be with us. The program is a podium coming to you. From